Hey, good morning, folks. It's Mike Trim from the WPTV Morning Show. Perhaps you just watched the live stream of the Surfside building collapse site and the officials giving the updates there. Uh, maybe you're just joining us. You are more than welcome to rewind that whole live news conference. I'm here to give you the highlights and maybe you got a little bit of time to catch up or to just ask some questions. We're here to also answer those. If you have any outstanding questions that you haven't heard our coverage over the past couple of days, was down there two days at the site and um, it is quite the operation. So here's the update that we got from the Miami-Dade County Mayor. Uh, it is day 14 of this search and rescue and just demolition, anything you wanna call it, operation. 10 new victims have been recovered, and that brings the number of confirmed deaths to 42. There are 32 unidentified, or 32 identified within that 46, so they're still trying to identify bodies that have been pulled from the rubble. So again, 10 new victims, 46 confirmed deaths, still 94 people unaccounted for. And the next update is going to be at 5.30 this evening. We also heard from the Surfside mayor within that news conference and saying the, the operation there to clear that rubble and to try to account for all the victims, it's as busy as the first day of the search and rescue operations. And when you put in that many workers and to say it's that busy, it is still a very, very, you can see the still pictures of it, how big that rubble is. You know, our Ryan Hughes and our team was um, allowed to go close to that rubble. When I was down there, we couldn't get close to it, but really got to see the enormity of that operation and how hard these workers are really trying to give some families some closure. Um, funerals have started for the victims that have been identified, their families. We've documented those. In fact, we talked with the West Palm Beach man who lost his grandmother in this collapse. Uh, the 55 units in this 12-story condo that came collapsing down 14 days ago, and they have demolished the remaining structure so it could be even safer for the crews to get in there and clear out this rubble. Um, the, vi the big question is, is how this still could have happened. And the vice mayor um, for Surfside came in and basically said so many condo, condo owners in and around that area have contacted their offices to say, what, what do we do to we need to make sure we're safe? Hey, we've, we've seen in our own area, Delray Beach, there's now this big focus on safety of condos, apartment complexes, and there's one off Linton Boulevard that they're taking a close look at. And, um, you know, we're asking some questions because people say it's unsafe. It's uh, just not a safe structure right now, but that's kind of going on I would say across the state of Florida right now, especially our area after this condo collapse, how to make things safer as that building built in 1981 fell down. Still no positive answer as to why that happened. Um, just adding to what they said, the fire chief really had um, not much of an update from the county, although that there were no work pauses, okay, in the, the past uh, hours and overnight. That's significant because it was getting windy yesterday. It was playing havoc with the big cranes and it was getting rainy. So on top of that, as you see the still pictures of some of those uh, fire crews, um, <clears throat> at least they had no work pauses and no work injuries either. That's been important because this is dangerous work. You think about it. You're pulling out rocks, you're pulling out boulders, falling on top of each other. I remember when I was down there last week, they had to stop uh, for at least eight hours because uh, a pillar had shifted and you got to get out of there when that happens. Cause they didn't know what else was going to fall down. So that's the update. Again, if you're just joining us, 46 confirmed deaths because of two or 10 new victims pulled from the rubble, still 94 people unaccounted for in this disaster. Um, a very busy rescue operation. And until five 30, we could kind of refer to that live stream. You can rewind it and watch it for yourself here, but we're going to answer your questions. Uh, good morning to you, everyone. It is heartbreaking. Kate Steinberg, building inspections need to be more developed. And boy, that is something you're likely going to see come out of this. In fact, West Palm Beach, Boca Raton have already asked to review that, maybe put it on their books, that there be that 40-year recertification for buildings at the very you know, bottom layer of it, just like Broward and Miami-Dade counties have. Uh, for their big buildings like that. Um, a list of residents, phone numbers. Yes, Sandy, that, that is what they've been going off of. I mean, when 
they've given the updates. They've said, you know, to our best knowledge. So they've pieced together through the tenant list, through reaching out to people they may have been family members with. Um, it's the unaccounted for ones that they just haven't found yet. It's a difficult operation, but there has been, you know, uh, every effort to reach out to these families. No stone left unturned with that one. Um, Christina can totally understand, you know, Marco Island wanted to buy a condo, not so, so sure. But you know what? This morning, it's newscast and uh, should be on WPTV.com. There are questions that you can ask condo owners when the last building inspection was. What are the open permits for work? What are the closed home permits for work? Um, when is this building up for any type of re-inspection? Again, these are, these are public records that you can ask for to be a little safer when it comes to this process. Uh, if you'd like to live in a condo such as that one. Um, Andy, I always appreciate you joining us. Policy changes, more strict guidelines for association and landlords who want to cut corners. You know, there was a um, law office out of Boca Raton that's asking and sending some recommendations for legislation to be changed. And, and they specialize in that kind of law. <clears throat> um, they want not only to be state legislation, but because right now it's kind of up to the property owners, most of this, how uh, how much information they they share. Uh, maybe your property owner is great. You know, I'm not speaking for all of them, but when you're talking about just drive up and down just Collins Avenue and in Miami Beach, you'll see just a sheer amount of buildings that are of this nature. Um, strict guidelines for associations. You might want to think they, they would be coming soon as well. Um, yeah, Sharon, we were talking about the one in Delray Beach. Yeah, tough questions being asked. The city says, uh, and she asked, you know, what about the ones being held up in polls? We've been showing the video of it. So the city says they gave them seven days by judge's order to fix that. And they are within those guidelines of in the process of fixing it. So we will stay on top of that. Place to donate for the funerals. I'm going to look this up right now on WPTV.com for you uh, because I want to give you to Surfside Victims. Um, it is, and, and be wary of that um, because there are scammers out there. So I'm going to, I'm going to post this link in here. And hopefully you guys can read it. Share. Okay. Um, I'm gonna ask that our digital manager share that link. So Kathy, our awesome producer behind the scenes, I just sent a link where we could post that to better answer the question um, of how you can donate to the victims. That's from our WPTV.com. Uh, oh, and thank you. Yes, we did the condo ownership. Okay, so you see here are some ways to help Surfside victims and their families. Uh, just posted there at 1150. Um, that's how, if, if you'd like to help in any way, those organizations within that link, and they'll be able to point you in the right direction better than me telling you right off the bat. The condo ownership in Florida, what to know before you buy. That's another link here in the comment section. Check that out. Important information. Uh, if you're just joining in, uh, how about the union contractors? Dan, good question that built this. I don't know the ins and outs of who built this. And quite honestly, they're getting to the bottom of it, all the building records as well, and starting from scratch on how to piece together that operation. What a very good question. Um, sorry. Then. All right. So... Just to recap, and again, you can rewind the entire live news conference. It was a little on the brief side today. Day 14 of operations, 10 new victims found, 46 confirmed deaths now, and 94 people unaccounted for. The next update on this is going to be 530. Of course, we're going to push out any important alerts as you take a look at scenes from that Surfside collapse and the rescue effort and the demolition expert uh, demolition um, effort right there. Um, <clears throat> If anything comes out significant, we will push that out on your free WPTV app. Highly encourage you to download that. Um, it's as busy as the first day of search and rescue operations as a Surfside mayor, so they are not letting up one bit. Um, funding has come in for the victims. Um, 
funerals have started. Condo owners have been reaching out to local officials, state officials all across that area saying, how can we look into making things safer? Fire chief said there is no work pauses there at that site, no workers injured. So I want to thank you for watching. Thank you for your questions. And uh, Debbie, Elsa is pretty much moving past that point of affecting any efforts. Yesterday would have been into, to, into this morning would have really been shown some windy conditions. But as of right now, no work pauses. That really shows you that the weather is cooperating. And Elsa, by the way, moving north. Our first term, first team, first alert meteorologist, first alert meteorologist. They will give you all the updates you have on that on air, online, through WPTV.com as that track is moving north east now. All right. I want to thank you for joining us. I'm Mike Trim. You can catch us on on air 4 p.m. starting today. Then myself and Ashley Walters, along with our meteorologist in the morning, Katya Hall and James Whelan, will kick things off at 4.30 as we will have the very latest overnight while you're sleeping, the updates on this Surfside condo collapse. And if anything new comes out, you can, of course, catch it on WPTV.com as well. Thanks so much for joining us. See you later.